All right, so I'm here with the top 10 overrated people in WWE right now, all right? I'm not talking over five or 10 years, just right now. And this is uh, going by what people are saying, and it, this is mainly just the people in the IWC. This is just talking about uh, what people the IWC overrates. I'm not talking about who WWE overrates or who, you know, kids overrate. Just what I'm seeing on Twitter and YouTube. So, um, yeah, I got my list here on the, uh, on the iPad. Let's just get right into it. Number 10, Vince McMahon. Sometimes I like to bash this guy on Twitter, say he's a retard. And then everybody will say, oh, he's a genius. He's not a genius, all right? Uh, and everybody's always oh, got a lot of money. And oh, yeah. Well, you know what? It's like if you measure a guy or a man's character by the amount of money he has, then all right. But, you know, I don't. <laughs> I measure how, you know, what I think of a man. Not by if he has a billion dollars or a million dollars, but how he is as a person. Uh... And how he is as an owner, how the fans like him, how I like him. And I don't like him, and neither do most of the mature wrestling fans. Because he's a fucking douchebag, pretty much. Screwing over his fans, uh, just disrespecting his fans. I'm, I, I guarantee you, if you made the list of top 10 companies who disrespect their fans, WWE would be up there. It would be a, a, close to number one, if not number one. Because I don't know a company that disrespects its fans more than WWE does. And everybody it will continually back this guy up when, he, when he's just a fucking douchebag. Number nine, the big show. People like to claim, oh, he's a good wrestler for being 500 pounds. Well, you know, if you stuck an 80-year-old man in the ring and he, you know, fucking fell down, would you say, oh, hey, he's a great wrestler for being 80 years old? You get what I'm trying to say in here. Big show is... This is, you know, I, I see him on Twitter, and I see him, and he's, he seems like a very nice guy. I mean this, and like, not trying to be mean to the guy or anything, but he's overweight, he's fat, and he's slow in the ring. It's the truth, alright? He's a nice guy and everything, he's overstayed his welcome. Don't let you fool, don't uh, let WWE fool you. He's got pl plenty of money, I, I guarantee you that. He's been on the business for, what, 15 years now? And people will be like, oh, he's athletic. Uh, yeah, he's very athletic. All he does is fucking slow moves, fucking rest holds, as was proved in his match at Survivor Series with Randy Orton. Number eight, the Usos. Now, uh, the Usos are, you know, decent wrestlers, maybe. Uh, but they they have no gimmick at all. They're, you know what their gimmick is? Doing fucking retarded Samoan dances and acting like retards, painting their faces and, you know... They write, oh, they always like to reference how they write day one on their fucking pants or whatever. Uh, and I, it's just too much of a generic baby face. Oh, you know, we worked hard for this. Oh, we worked day, from, from day one. They wanted to be tag team champions. Oh, my God. Uh. And then they come out through the dance. And then they play a rap song, which I'm sure is not Samoan. Uh, it's just stupid. And, you know, they're not horrible, but they're all right. But their just gimmick is just terrible. It's stupid. And, you know, I, I don't blame people for, like, getting behind these guys. But because, you know, if you, if you just mainly are watching the show for wrestling, then, you know, fine. All right. But to say these guys are, like, charismatic, they're not. They're as far from charismatic as... Fucking Randy Orton is pretty much. Number seven, John Cena. Now, you know, kids love this guy, but you get a bunch of adults now. I, I, I look in the audience and I see, like, uh, adults wearing John Cena t-shirts. Now, I see people on YouTube that support John Cena. Now, I wouldn't say, I, I said I wouldn't talk about the guys on, uh, in, like, the regular universe. I would just talk about the IWC. So I guess I can't really use that example of people in the crowd. But, um, yeah, you get people on... I see people on here on fucking YouTube wearing fucking Cena shirts. You get one of the biggest people on YouTube, Sean Z Entertainment. It's a big uh, big Cena fan. It's like, really? I don't get how you could get behind this guy as if you're fucking, like, 30 years old. I can't even, like... Once you get past the years of, like, 13, that's the time when you gotta, you know... Especially if you've been watching this for a while. 
you gotta understand it's fake and that John Cena is just a phony. It's just stupid how 30 year old men find uh, uh, inspiration in John Cena. Oh, he's, he's, he's gonna lose. Oh, no, he won. Oh, yeah. You know, you, know, you get the, the, the fucking guy at um, what pay per view? It was John Laurinaitis versus John Cena. And this guy, like uh, 30 years old, maybe, he had his green John Cena t shirt on. Uh, his kids had, he had two kids which had John Cena t shirts on. And, you know, Big Show, boom, knock Cena out, and the guy, they showed the guy's face, and he was like, oh my god, John Cena, ah, so, oh, he looked like he was gonna cry or go into a mental breakdown or something. I, I remember that guy. It was like over a year ago, and the guy's still fresh in my mind. Number six, Triple H. Not really gonna get into this much. But there's still a couple people on Twitter and YouTube who support this guy and say he's good. When he's obviously an egomaniac and sucks. Number five, Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett, people are saying he's a great wrestler and shit. Uh, you know what? His finisher was a fucking elbow. Are you fucking serious? People use that as a fucking uh, regular move. Like, during the match and the, the person gets up in like two seconds. It's not a fucking finisher. Yeah, it's stupid. He's like, oh, he pulls down his arm. And he's oh, he's, he's gearing up the elbow, guys. He's gearing up the elbow. Stupid. And he's not a good wrestler. He does more rest holds than entertaining moves. Uh, I'm glad they're doing this uh, Bad News Bear gimmick. Not because it's entertaining, but because we, now we don't have to see a 15-minute match from boring 15-minute match from Barrett. We get to see a little 30-second promo, which isn't bad. It's way better than a boring match. And he goes, oh, I'm Wade Barrett, I got some bad news. Oh, you got some bad, yeah, I got some bad news. You fucking, you know, this whole company fucking sucks. You know, Wade Barrett fucking sucks. And he's never really wrestled any memorable matches I can think of. I've been watching this shit uh, constantly or consistently for two years now. There's not one good Wade Barrett moment uh, that I really can remember. And, you know, people are like, oh, push Barrett. He's got no talent. I'm, he's got no charisma. He's got no wrestling ability. Number four, <clears throat> number four, my throat's getting dry. But number four, Randy Orton. Now, Orton, uh, you know, still got a lot of people in the IWC, mainly, like, I see a lot of women getting behind him. Oh, he's perfect. Oh, he's perfect. Yeah, he's fucking perfect at botching and doing rust holds. Said it millions of times. He does tons of rest holds and botches. It's just people or his fans aren't willing to fucking admit it. And then, you know, the people I like, I admit when they do bad shit. I admitted that Brian had a botch on Raw. I, I admitted that CM Punk sucks. You know, it's. But whatever, you know, there will always be those retarded Orton fans who'll just say that you're retarded for having an opinion that's negative about Randy Orton. Number three, the Wyatts. Now, I've been really becoming a fan of their promo work as of late. I think Bray Wyatt has really good delivery on their promos. But the, what they're writing for that, I think it's stupid. Like, they should give them some better lines to say. You know, these lines make no fucking sense, really. And for their wrestling abilities, they can't really wrestle. I mean, you got Luke Harper, who has a really good clothesline. But it shouldn't be his finisher. Like, you can't use a freaking clothesline for your finisher. You gotta, it should be like a signature move. But I, I really wish that they would just use it because a clothesline for your finisher, it's not really a legit finisher to me. You know, I'm not a big fan of taking regular moves that really everybody does and using them, them as your finisher because, you know, it's stupid. Um, but yeah, I'm really becoming a fan of their promo work as of late. Uh, but that's about it. That's all they have. People claim, oh, oh they're great. They're, they're average at best. Number two, CM Punk. Uh, let me just explain something to you. A lot of people are like, oh, he, he used to be number one fan of CM Punk. Oh, he used to love him. Now he hates him. He's a hypocrite. Ah, yeah, you know what? He fucking sucks now. <laughs> I mean, I used to love him as a heel. He's my favorite guy in the company back in, you know, uh, January and uh, before that. You know, late two, 2012 and the early 2013, he was my favorite guy in the fucking company because he was a good heel who wrestled good matches. He had a classic match with The Undertaker at uh, Mania 2029. Uh, but then he came back 
had a good feud with Brock Lesnar, had an awesome match with Lesnar. But then it pretty much fell off the fucking table from right there. Now he had that long ass feud with Paul Heyman which lasted way too long. He's just been cutting boring promos. For the most part wrestling boring matches. People like to deny the fact that oh they say Dean Ambrose versus CM Punk on Raw was a great match. No it wasn't. It was filled with just boring bullshit. It was like one or a couple good spots maybe. I can't really, you know, there was a like spot where Ambrose like need him in the ribs or something off the top rope, but that's it. There was nothing that great in that. I, I, they're chanting, this is awesome, after a fucking uh, roundhouse kick. I don't get what's so awesome about a roundhouse kick. A move CM Punk does in almost every fucking match. That this is awesome chant. It's been being chanted like every week. It's very overused. And he, he can't he can't can't talk as a baby face. His promos are for the most part boring. They should just let him do what he's doing. He did it in two thousand eleven. I'm not saying he saw it's all his fault. In fact, it's mostly WWE's fault. If they just let him do what he does best and talk, don't tell him what to say. They'll just let him say what he wants. That'll be the most entertaining, and that'll bring the ratings in. But yeah, you get CM Punk people who are just obsessed with him. Uh, a lot of girls say, oh, he's perfect, you know, they're sending me pictures of him, oh, he's so cute, he's got the fucking sideburns that are so fucking ugly, I hate him, looks like Wolverine, you gotta shave those sons of bitches off, they're fucking annoying, I don't get why he is so fucking stupid, you know, I don't like sideburns, stupid, you know, I know that's just a little thing, but uh, the women just refer to him as cute all the time, I hate you know, all women who like him just because he's cute. Last one. Number one. Roman Reigns. Oh, you might be saying, oh, yeah. He's great. He's going to be the next big thing. Uh, you know, I should have put Big E Langston on here, maybe. Because everybody's saying he's going to be the next big thing, but he's not. Yeah, but Roman Reigns. He has a, he has a really good spear. I'll give him that. But what else does he have? Nothing. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he's got the spear. But that's really it. I mean, you gotta wait fucking ten minutes, and then you get the most the climactic part of the match, and then it, that's it. He just gives you a fucking spear, and that's it. Uh, right now, you know, people call him a great wrestler. He's you know, all right, but he's not great. He's got the spear. He's got the spear down. All right, you don't have to work on that anymore. Work on some new moves, more power moves. His moves aren't that really that much of a power move. He's a big guy. He should use his power. Same thing with Biggie Langston. They're saying, oh, he's, he's so quick and, uh, so quick and, uh, what, they use two words. He's quick and powerful. He doesn't use any power moves. He uses fucking clotheslines, the big ending, which anybody could really do. I, I, I've never really seen him done anything that, that amazed me. Like, oh, shit, wow, that's pretty impressive because he uses strength or whatever. No, same thing with, uh, uh, what's the, Roman Reigns. He doesn't use his, he doesn't use his, uh, strength. That's what a lot of big guys need to do. You gotta go up to Brock Lesnar. Hey, Brock, what do you do? How do you wrestle? They gotta learn from that guy. You know, the spear is good, but that's it. That's all he has. The spear. What else does he have? Nothing. Uh, nothing entertaining. Just the spear. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about this video. I'll probably make a most 10 uh, underrated people in the company uh, in the next couple days. Uh, but, yeah, if you uh, want to... Uh, uh, tell me who you think is most overrated in the YW in the YWC and IWC, because uh, yeah, I'd like to know your opinions. And if you got any comments, I uh, hate you know people oh, like my video. Uh, you know, I don't care if you like it. If you don't agree with my opinions, dislike it. I don't give a fucking shit. All right, it's not gonna you know make me look any more cool if I get eight dislike eight likes and no dislikes or. If I get eight dislikes and no likes. But just let me know why you disliked it or liked it. You know, just don't like it or dislike it. Get a, you know, comment. Because I'm always wondering what people are thinking about my videos. Uh, yeah, it's, I always wa watching people. Oh, like, subscribe. You know, I'd like to, for you to subscribe. Only if you want. I don't, you know, people are like, oh, subscribe to me. I'll subscribe back. You know, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to like, like. If you want to dislike, dislike. But just tell me why. You like to dislike and I'm not gonna get fucking mad at you because you didn't like my video just tell me what you think who's most overrated in the company all right so uh, there you go people